Aiden? Mm -hmm. He's gonna swing in later today with some of my other I'm not sure if he's gonna do that. You mind if we film in here, by the way? Cool. How's it going? This is a collaboration between Drip T and the homies at Hidden. This is Tony. Yeah. Also Sylvan Nair. So it's a three-way collaboration between, you know, us three brands, two brands of Seattle, Seattle locals. But we here at Hidden, we came up from uh, Southern California. We're an archive store based in Orange County. We've been collecting for years and we we go from brands such as Undercover, Rap Simmons, Rick Owens, number nine, you know, well well known in the archive scene. We also dabble in some chrome hearts, vintage, a little bit of streetwear here and there. And we're also working with, as I mentioned, Souvenir. Souvenir is a Vietnamese culture uh, media brand. If you're in Seattle, come through. They always got some cool stuff. And if you're in Southern California, they got their whole permanent archive down there. In what city again? Santa Ana, California. Santa Ana. So, or you got yeah. your Instagram which we will link and you can do some shopping on there as well. Hi, welcome in. Uh, so this is Drip Tea Market. This is the retail portion of my cafe. I'm one of three owners. Uh, we were established last year sometime in March for the cafe location. And this market is sort of on a speakeasy vibe. So it's like an if you know, you know kind of thing. Uh, go into our cafe, ask to be taken up, we'll show you around here. Uh, we definitely don't do as much archive as our friends over here, but we do stock some chrome hearts, some undercover, some capital. So if you're into that, we're trying to sort of bleed that into the Seattle fashion scene. Um, otherwise, we're predominantly sneakers and home goods and clothing. So come see us if you have time. Right. Yeah. What is <laughs> the suit, Paul Hart? Um, No, it's called <laughs> the Solvis. Paul oh. Solvis right here. Yo, no um, way. Craig Lawrence shirt. Oh, dang. Okay, that's that's a fire suit. Yeah, right? <laughs> that's fire. <laughs> yeah. Got the whole suit on. Like, check uh, the raw uh, ham on the end. So that's sick. Well, that's, that's sick. Hard. It's okay. actually like what's called a sleeping suit, actually. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's like pretty sick. You can see it's like a nice limb material. Shadow Projects jacket that got oh, really famous insane. because Drake wore this and used this particular pocket here. So this is meant to be used as a, like a you know laptop or tablet holder. Mm -hmm. Structure. This man used it as a rolling tray. It's a <laughs> picture of him using it as a rolling tray and then like pouring lean in a cup. It's, it's so good. Nice. Yo, that's fire. Yeah. So, this is cool. It looks like Patchwork Junior, but no, this is actually 1980s, roughly 1980s, silver tag discontinued Levi's. So this is a very small offshoot of Levi's, a small run of products they did where it's very artisanal. Definitely avant-garde for the time, but it looks like Junior, right? Mm -hmm. Patchwork vibes, tonal, striped patterns in the back with the contrast stitching. I've only seen a handful of these in existence in my entire life. So. Rap Simmons, Bottom Liner 18, New Order hoodie, that's fire. Really I didn't. Cool. What year junior is this? This is more recent junior, definitely a 2010s. Mm -hmm. You could tell because when junior started doing more of the crazy patchwork stuff, that's more of his later works for sure. Mm -hmm. This one's yeah. brand new with original tags. Oh dang, okay, this is sick. Oh, 07 wrap. 07 wrap. This one's cool. It's a puffer jacket, mm -hmm. but you see there's zippers here. You get, if you unzip it, you get a more wide fit. But if you zip it up, it gets a little less avant-garde. You know, you don't see all this stuff coming out, but the fit gets more tapered. So you can variate the style depending on you know your preference. It's 
a classic. Is this like the same one that like Kanye wore? Basically. And this one's really neat because it has the quilted silk liner. So it's probably to date the most comfortable parka I've ever worn. It is so, so cozy. So this is the Chrome Heart Drake. Chrome Heart Drake Obo Club. Yeah, certified lover boy. Certified lover boy. So you got that, bro? We had to, we had to fly to Miami for this. Had to pull some stops. Got this, and well, we couldn't bring it with us because uh, we were honestly scared of just getting it lost, but we also have the Drake Chrome Hearts collaborative joint roller too. Yo, no way. Yeah. Along with a few other goods we got from the Miami store. Mm -hmm. Shout out Chrome Hearts Miami, your staff is amazing. These are one of one, custom order, Chrome Hearts leather overalls. All Chrome Hearts hardware and custom Hermes to the common silk lining. Yo. That's sick. <laughs> That's so sick. These are made exclusively, exclusively from Korean, Korean music group Big Bang's Taeyang. That's insane. Wow. Yo, that's yeah. so cool. It has his name right there. That's sick. That's insane. This is my camera. This is a regular example. This is insane. <laughs> <laughs> like, back when, like, pre COVID, there's like a lot of like. There's hella people doing this shit now. Mm -hmm. exactly it's cool though. Like, like, Greg Lauren was like on that wave. Yeah, yeah. Like, else. Dude, I just like. This is my favorite with Fuck Bunny shirt. Because, like, it just fits so well. Dude, he's got cool stuff. How much is this? Amazing. Like, this silver lining right here. Yeah. It's like a nice line. Yeah. Like, and just like so wears in super line. nicely because like it rolls up at the end, so it kind of like. <laughs> and D shirt that does the similar yeah. thing with oh, really? pockets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah, yeah. 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 It's perfect. I like I put like my phone in it. I'm just like cruising yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but no, like this type of shirt during the summer though, mm -hmm. it's is uncomparable. It yeah. This is a 2019 CDG, I believe, right? Oh, that's cool. That's insane. That's a cool piece. Yeah, what's called it? Yeah, so. The great thing about this Harley jacket that's so different from others is the difference in material. In the, on the front right here is a nylon, mm -hmm. or right here is a blistered suede, and it also has a zipper detailing like a classic biker jacket. But what's so great about it, in my opinion, is that it has this very classic retro crop fit along with side laces right here that are very similar to early helmet. And on the inside too, there's just details after details. The stitching and the quilting on the inside will always keep you warm when you're riding uh, like uh, Rick Owens air cuts in white. Yeah, these are pretty. These are like hella hard to find. Like if you want air cuts, they go they go for a bit. And yeah, these are cool. These are hella cool. It's got like all the uh, guitar picks, pretty much detailing. The double knee too. It's double knee. Yeah, that's sick. Your lusters. You were showing me these earlier. Yeah. These are insane. Yeah, they're in really good condition too. You know, all original and seam, I believe. And then it's the, like rubber uh, latex. And then I lost the wax. Yeah, yeah. So this is a uh, Heidi era Dior, and these are hella rare as far as piece goes. The wax is actually showing up pretty good too, so this is good. Yeah. Hold up, these were Offset's personal yeah. denim. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> offset like his amigo's Offset. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he, so we bought a few mirrors off Offset because they didn't fit him. Mm -hmm. They're definitely give it to him as a gift from Mike. So we have these and we had we have uh, the Camo MX1s that we still have at our shop back home. These are from, uh, you know, rest in peace, Juice World's producer, Nick Mira. So if you can tell, you can tell Virgil definitely copied uh, the J-Cut. Mm -hmm. So these are like kind of like a, or J-Cut or banana cut pants. These Prada pants, and a few other things with a really, really big waist from none other than DJ Mustard. <laughs> no, yeah. Big dude, yeah. What's also that? from uh, like Mr. Mustard. Man, he's big. He's a big dude. Big dude. <laughs> big man making big moves. These are the Yoji pants, which I was like, these are nice. These are fire. That's got like the, uh, yeah. what is the name for like the demon again? The Japanese demon. Oni? Yeah, yeah. It's got like that homie on it. Oh, yep. Because yeah, like yeah. you, I think, I think that's what it is, correct? Yeah. But I know like the sweaters and like the other pieces with like the homie on it. What is it? Oni. Oh, 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 <laughs> this guy. This guy on it, like go for like a lot. This is 
And then these are the wine creatures. Man, these are such a great color. Don't worry. This is crazy. It's a piece of history. Oh, we can take it out? Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. I don't know if we can touch it, but... Too late. Here we got the acrylic box. This is worth actually a lot, man. This is crazy. <laughs> This is like it's like 500 like, bucks. This is this is insane. Then we got the sneaker too. Like, it's a box. Sneaker, sneaker. Uh, I have wanted them for a really really long time, and a good friend of mine who actually co-founded Kicks on Fire. Yeah, I don't know if you remember that like sneaker editorial. I was up on there all the time when I was like 14. Um, he co-founded Kicks on Fire. I just kept in touch over the years, and he promised me he'd sell them because we're both a nine. <laughs> and. Uh, when he finally did, I found out they were a UK nine, so they're one full size too big for me. Oh. So I can't wear them. Yeah. But I just play them with the book. Uh, I uh, L E F T H A N S is my Instagram handle. I am the co-founder of Drip Tea Cafe and co-owner of Drip Tea Market, where we are now. Uh, let's see. I got. Oh, we we'll start bottom up. We All right. Some dark shadow canvas lows with some chrome hearts lace locks. Uh, some easy creatures from the newest season that I can't pronounce, Plagathon or something. Plagathon, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Guidi Belt, uh, Uniqlo t-shirt. My girlfriend gave me this shirt. It's like my favorite shirt. I don't know what it is. She thrifted it in Portland. <laughs> um, all of the jewelry is Chrome Hearts today, minus this jade ring that my girlfriend and I bought together. Uh, Chrome Hearts Paper Chain, Chrome Hearts Classic ID, Chrome Hearts Large Cuban Fancy Link, uh, three millimeter spacer, three millimeter spacer, Tiny Plus, and nail, chrome hearts feather, baby fat, and medium cross on a ball chain, baby fat earring, some random Walgreens face mask, <laughs> vintage Pearl JMT 1992. I don't know if I'm going to though. This is like a beautiful piece, though. This is a beautiful piece. Alright, so uh, hi, my name is Elton, co founder of Eden as well. Uh, so these are my pieces. Basically, everything's cut and sew, completely original designs, um, inspirations taken from past, present, and future of fashion. Um, a lot of the pieces um, are uh, utility centered um, and taken to avant garde level for um, uh, American style design. Um, some pieces that we just came out with is a pyramid bag. Um, this one is, is used for like a crossbody. And this is our, um, our new take on the uh, Western shirt. So um, I took uh, some patterns from a very vintage uh, women's. Um, like a western shirt, but then I elongated it and made because uh, this one's usually made oh, yeah. for like a waist to tie it around, mm -hmm. but to give it more um, length and shape, uh, and then also with the a little bit more on the technical aspects here, the uh, hidden pockets here. And it's got hidden pockets there, and then on or the chest back. pockets and too. Then, uh, this is our interpretation of the tote bag. So, uh, like flat, and then you put your iPad or anything like that. Touch through the um, PVC, Japanese salvage denim. And basically, uh, it's a half jacket. So, you know, in the editorials, they always wear like half uh, jacket, but yeah. it's all slung out. But this one has a strap over it. So basically, it's a half jacket, you can strap it over. Mm -hmm. On the right side, it's worn as like a Western jacket. And then you switch it over to the left side, it's a kimono, and then you just strap over. Yeah, and okay. then like, basically, this one, it's a little fun thing. Yeah. Uh, that's that's cool. Cool. <laughs> so basically, it's like a little rain, rain. Oh. and you can cover oh, it over your face. Too. Oh. Oh. Yo, that's it. Oh, that's cool. This is the gonna oh, drip. This is the gonna be long. The Biden be long. You need that. <laughs> Where's the Biden be long? We want the Biden. Really. We want the Biden. Yo, Do we got if the you can find it, put a picture right here or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Biden be long. Yo. <laughs> All time grill, yo. We got the regular Vlon. This is gonna. That's great. But what we do need, what we really need, is here is the Biden Vlon. We're looking for the Biden Vlon. Anyone has it? Hit him up. He needs it. He needs it. He needs it. That's the grill. Oh, the Biden v -Long? I think they're fake. Oh. Even if it's a fake, even if it's a fake, it's Biden v -Long. Better if it's a fake. I ain't copying. Yeah, I ain't, ain't supporting Bari, no yeah, offense. Yeah. <laughs> like an armor height. Gotta try it on, man. Oh, <laughs> nice. Uh, it's definitely fake. 
But I think souvenir do is about Vietnamese art, uh, fashion, people, culture, and food. Mm -hmm. And like for some of these pieces, like this is the one we did for the Mother's Day. Very simple, it said mẹ, which is mother in Vietnamese, and tất cả mean everything. And like some of these pieces, this is about uh, International Workers' Day in Vietnam, May 1st. And everything on here is like every industry of Vietnam. This is art, this is like uh, airplanes, this is like, like a cotton fields, this is like a market. And this is musician. So everything, everything souvenir do, we're trying to bring it back to the Asian, to the Vietnamese. This piece is actually uh, cut and sold by Elton. Where's Elton? Over there, hidden pocket. And on the front is that Wong Cam, because that's where the hidden guys came from. Wong Cam it means Orange County. It said Lu Chữ Ngam, which is safe, preserve, and hidden. And on the back is a, a marble. And in, in Vietnam, there's a game where you play with the marble, and like if you hit the other uh, opponent marbles, you get the marble. And it teaches you like, uh, interpret, uh, like, like how to do business, how to make friendships and stuff like that. And we, we were trying to do that. We're trying to represent that in this piece. And here are bracelets and pendants, other pendants. This one is definitely the craziest uh, one oh, we have yeah. left. So let's just compare the thickness between yeah. normal. This, these are the embellishments on the Cuban links. They're called uh, fancy links. Mm -hmm. So these are extra fancy links. Everything is embellished. And you can see the thickness of this link. It's a normal chrome, what you can expect from the store. And this is from the Rolling Stones collaboration. I've never seen another one in existence and compare the thickness of these links. That's crazy. Holy wow. Shit. Yeah, that is thick. That's a that's a link right there, man. This one's cool. So I'm a really big fan of uh, Goros. Uh, mm -hmm. Goros is Native American Japanese uh, silversmith. Yeah. And they've, they've definitely made the whole uh, feather pendant motif a huge thing internationally. Yeah. And this is a chrome hearts version of a feather. It looks similar to Goro's from a distance, but it's completely chrome. Creative director of Chrome Arts, his name is Foti. So you can tell his style is a lot different from the current creative director, Maddie Boy. Uh, a lot more skeleton and uh, kind of like classic uh, brutalist aesthetics. Mm -hmm. So this pendant is from Foti. You can see it. when you look at it like this, you know, you got a skeleton, his arms out. But if you change the direction just a little bit, uh -huh. Imagery completely changes. That's this crazy. is like some alien versus predator. Yeah. Yeah, 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 So this is a Canadian-based jewelry brand. They're, they're called Isochron. They do. They hand. They hand make all their products. It's like a workstop munchin vibe. Mm. Very kind of oh avant-garde jewelry. Very angular. Super fun. That's so this sick. is their Aeon ring. Super neat. Yeah. It's similar to Chrome Arts in the aspect that it's tarnished silver, mm -hmm. but they use a different oxidation oxidation process. And their packaging is where these products really shine. So, oh wow, a bracelet would come in something like this. This is a full steel jewelry box with a magnetic lid. Oh my god, that's it. And inside is a jewelry cloth. And they're really about sustainability. They want to push multiple usages in packaging. So you can actually use this, and besides as a jewelry box, an incense chamber. That's mm -hmm. how it's designed to be utilized. Yeah. yeah, check them out. This is really cool. This is a... And so like, how does this like, you just kind of like is this slide it on? You just you put it on, you can tighten it. Okay. Just like that. Oh, yo, this is insane. And then you can just, it's like they match. There we go. I could have brass knuckles with these. <laughs> but it's got like 10 of these. You see, you have see to a dude yeah, fully stacked in his range, you, you leave him alone. Can I just cry? The other day, it's like, what if you wore the, like, like, Google sweater with these, these bands? What? That's toxic. That's toxic. <laughs> This is like what I want my girl to wear when she steps on my balls, you know? <laughs> <laughs> this is nice though. This is cool. Balenciaga. Cap Amped uh, Utility Bomber, right? It's based off the of Isimiyaki. What was it? 1990s, was it? Yeah, 1996, 7? What's the guy? Uh, the bomber, right? It's, it's basically like a straight blue leg, like the back is the exact same. Yeah. It's, uh, they, they use a different material. It's canvas rather than nylon. Basic vintage shirt. Uh, helmet laying 1998 painters and uh, 85 meter brace. Nice. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we got the Fall Winter 13, the smoking tuxedo, which is uh, sad. Uh, I mean, the baby cat shirt, the yeah. and just the DO2, and just the classic black lines. Nice. I bought this, this girl's feather off-ground. 
for an absolute steal. But the guy sent it. The guy sent it to the wrong address, right? He sent he sent it to an address that didn't even exist. And I that's tragic. I remember the day uh, I, was, I was checking tracking. It was supposed to arrive one day, right? I was like, oh my god, I'm so excited. I felt I haven't been so excited for a package in so long, yeah. as you know. For me, I've always wanted a I've always wanted a girl feather, but then uh, you know, this was the perfect opportunity. And so I'm just waiting like. Like like Christmas morning, I'm waiting for my USPS man. Yeah, and he comes. And I'm like, you got you got something from him? He's like, no. <laughs> He's got he got the usual like uh, you know garbage advertisement for like you know grocery store coupons or whatever. I'm like, what the hell's going on? Tracking says it's delivered. I message this guy. It's like, hey, uh, are, you, are you scamming me? Is this like some kind of bait and switch? What's going on? He says, oh, I should have mentioned. I'm so sorry. I'm functionally dyslexic. <laughs> and I may have sent it to a completely wrong address. So I spend the next two days like going on this wild goose chase, hitting up all the major uh, USPS, like uh, the main centers, and trying to like get some information about where this package could be. Um, finally, I make it to, dude, at one point, I, I make it to uh, this place where he's like, okay, I'm talking to guy and bro, it's like, it should be at this random ass shipyard. <laughs> Or it's like a metalworking factory, dude. I walk in at 9 p.m. like after hours, cause I'm desperate. I'm I'm touring all these different uh, buildings around the supposed address, trying to like, hey, you guys. I went to a few be uh, Korean beauty salons where they don't speak a lick of English. I'm like, yeah, you guys uh, have a package for Tony, you know? and they're like, huh? huh? No. No. I'm like, all right. It's like, whatever. But yeah, the scariest part is I went I went into like this metal shipyard thing. Uh, after hours, I saw there's one open light or one light at this office. So I walk in. It felt like it felt like a GTA mission. Like it was just so dark and there's like no one there. I'm just like, oh man, this guy led me here. I walk inside. You know, there's like nobody. And I'm like, is anybody here? Anybody here? I see to ask a question. And this dude fucking comes out with a gun, man. He's like, what the fuck are you doing here? It's after hours. You're not supposed to be here. And I'm like, I'm like, yo, put that down. You, you got your package, Tony? You went? No. He's like, no, get the fuck out. He's like, he's only get the fuck out. Locks up the place. I'm like, all right, dead end. Until the next day, I go, I go to, um, I go to, yeah, like I said, one of the main USPS facilities. I'm like really trying to press that this package belongs to me and I guess the postal worker really empathized with the situation. She, so she sent me the address where it actually went to, which I don't know if they're supposed to do that, but then she really hooked it up. And it was none of the addresses this dude fucking said he sent to. And then again, uh, I tell him like, dude, you're, you're like so off the ball. He's like, I'm sorry. I'll give you a partial refund of $50 if we find it. Like, Bro, partial refund? <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> I'll, I'll kill you right now. Uh, but it, sh sure enough, if the, the package found its way to this random family dentistry, <laughs> I walk inside. I'm, I'm like, this is it. I walk in like, hey guys, he, he was with me. He's in the car with you. I walk in. I'm like, hey guys, and then uh, the, uh, the 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 person that was working the counter, she's like, quiet down. I'm on the phone. I'm like, can I can I like. I, before I even say anything, she just cuts me off. She's like, wait, I'm on the fucking phone inside beat, right? So I'm waiting like solid 15 minutes for all these like old dudes trying to get like their work uh, teeth done or whatever, right? Finally go up, I'm like, do you guys have a package for, you know, a random package for this dude? Tony, you in? And she's like, huh, let me see your ID. Fucking slam my ID on like the glass wall, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, this is me. And she's like, huh, you're lucky. We're about to throw this out. <laughs> oh, so, oh my god. Sure enough, she gives me this little package. I'm so excited. I'm like, fuck yeah. I run out. This dude sees me literally jumping for joy. He's like, yes, it's here. It's here. I, I you know, I tear that shit apart. And there's, <laughs> there's a little note. And with the worst handwriting I've ever seen in my life, it says, uh, May the spirit of Goros be with you. <laughs> but this dude had terrible handwriting, but he had the most beautiful signature I've ever seen in my life. It was, it was like night and day, it was crazy. But And, and then of course, this is wrapped in like a Kleenex. And uh, yeah, that's the uh, story of how I got this here. All right, we're gonna go get some Italian food and uh, just like come all out there, get some good food. And uh, yeah, after shopping a little bit. Let's go.